Hello guys, welcome back to another Feature Tech Ideas How To. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Ubuntu or a distribution of Linux onto a thumb drive or a flash drive or a USB drive, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically I'm going to just be installing that, formatting it. Um, so if you do not have a flash drive, go out and get one. Um, you could probably get one at a pharmacy like uh, CVS or Walgreens, um, Big Lots, Walmart. They're like five to you know some go up to like thirty dollars. Um, you don't really need a expensive one. Just get a four gigabyte one. I that's a minimum amount I recommend. Um, some people recommend a two gigabyte, but I recommend a four gigabyte. So you know, like I said, they're pretty cheap, probably around ten bucks for a four gigabyte, I believe. So go ahead and get that. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's it's always good to have a operating system that's you know you can put on a thumb drive and and especially if you're a uh, computer technician or you build computers or, or repair computers it's good to be able to have a operating system on a thumb drive like that um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and what you need to do once you get your USB drive right um, go ahead and put it into the USB port on your desktop then go to your start menu or whatever you have I have Windows XP so I need to go to my computer now it's going to be totally different I bet and there it says install Ubuntu the reason why it says that I don't know why it says that but I uh, need to format it there's no files on here I'm just going to go ahead and open it up there's nothing on this this drive see there's the E drive um, I believe it's because I had I had Ubuntu on here before but I uninstalled it and took it off there but anyways that's another story so what you need to do is just go to that uh, thumb drive wherever that is it's, it's definitely not in here it's got to be in the devices and removable storage it may be E or maybe D it may be A B C D F G W Y Z I don't know maybe some type of number just look for that and right click on it or uh, yeah do something like that and then click format now you have to format it no matter what in order to get an operating system and be able to boot from it so click format now this may take uh, quite a while now what you need to do is make sure you know all the default settings are okay they're all there make sure it's a FAT32 file make sure the file system is a FAT32 that is very important can't stress enough um, go ahead and name it you can name it pen drive um, whatever you want click quick start or a quick format then you hit start warning formatting will erase all data yes that's okay make sure to note that everything on that drive if there's something on there make sure to back it up onto your desktop and get it off there because it'll be erased after you start formatting and format complete that's how quickly it starts formatting and that's how quickly it ends formatting install Ubuntu um, totally totally done there it's formatted now set that aside you do not need that if you want Ubuntu make sure to go to ubuntu.com a free operating system one of the best and I um, need I um, say one of the best to put on a thumb drive um, go ahead and go to downloads loading 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 and then go to Ubuntu desktop okay once Ubuntu desktop loads a bunch of different okay here we go um, the latest features choose Ubuntu 12.10 okay 32-bit recommended yes get Ubuntu there we go that's what we want now Ubuntu is going to install um, and this is basically going to pop up and ask you blah 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 just go ahead and hit no uh, go take me to download that, that is asking to you know donate some money um, which I would definitely if I had it because uh, Ubuntu rocks right and it looks like this is a big file so I'm going to pause this right now it's gonna take a while and uh, yeah, once it, uh, we'll just get back to uh, after it gets on uh, downloading here. Then I'll get back to the video. Okay, now that is still downloading. So what I'm just gonna do is go ahead and show you something else that you will need. Um, so go ahead and go to ubuntu.com/download/help. Um, I'll just provide a link in the description below. But basically, you need to. Um, download this uh, pen drive Linux USB installer you need to download this in order to uh, boot from the USB drive um, it's totally safe I'm gonna go ahead and download it now just click the download pen drive it'll bring you to pendrivelinux.com um, scroll down to the bottom once you scroll down this is just showing you the windows that are gonna pop up and basically you know telling you what what's what it's gonna look like then go ahead and hit download UUI 
1.9.3.1. Now once that opens, this is what you'll see. The run box will probably pop up here. There we go. Hit run. Just make sure you download this. Um, you have to download it. Now what you need to do is remember which operating system you're downloading. I'm downloading Ubuntu 12.10 desktop. So then that's what I need to do. I need to look for Ubuntu 12.10 desktop. And click that. Now it's going to uh, browse to your Ubuntu 12.10. Okay, now you need to search for your, your uh, ISO, your image that you're downloading, which is not fully downloaded, so it won't show up in this box. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait for it to uh, get done downloading. That way we can carry on with what we're doing. Okay, we still have about five minutes left for the download to finish. I quickly want to mention, make sure to check out FutureTechIdeas.com. That is the website, all things tech, all things geek. Just uh, make sure to check it out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to burn some time here for you. Um, also, you can go ahead and click on once you go to futuretechideas.com, click on the forum, and it'll bring you over to my forum. And there is where you'll find a bunch of help, a bunch of discussions on different things, ranging from general topics, business, operating system support, geeks, gamers gadgets, cameras, tablets, smartphones, iOS, iOS applications, Android applications as well. So be sure to go check out FutureTechIdeas.com and sign up for the forum. Play button. Okay, everybody, now that it is downloaded, we can actually begin. Go ahead and go to Browse. Now you will see the ISO file. There it is. Click on that. Open it. Then you will want to go to the drive E, because that is my drive. Make sure to max it out all the way to 4,000 megabytes. That is optional, but I'll just go ahead and do that. Then hit create. Boom. And now, universal USB installer is ready to perform the following actions. Yes, indeed. This will take quite a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. Don't mind all this stuff that's happening. This is the program that it needs to do in order to um, be able to make the drive bootable. So all these little windows that you see are basically okay. So don't worry about them. Let me go ahead and pause the video that way because it's going to take quite a while. Alrighty guys, welcome back. The process is complete. Yes, it is complete. It's 2 a.m. in the morning here. Finally it's done, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go into the camera. Outside of the computer that is, um, on my iPhone here and show you uh, basically the BIOS, how to set up um, the boot so you can boot from the USB drive and not the hard drive so hello everyone welcome back I am outside of the computer here I am on my iPhone that way you guys can see um, let me go ahead and restart the computer I have the thumb drive plugged in so now what you have to do is hit restart now this is on a Windows XP machine so make sure you remember that go ahead and hit M and now um, now what I need to do is right when the uh, screen starts to run, once it starts loading, you have to quickly hit, uh, I believe it's F12. It may be different, maybe like delete on your computer or something like that. Basically, you'll, you'll see it uh, let, uh, pop up. Um, in, order, in order to get into the BIOS, you have to hit that or the, set, the setup. So it's restarting. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Now, here we go, it says Optiplex, there, F12 to boot. Then we enter the password, let me enter the password real quick. And enter, password is correct. Now, as you can see, it says USB device, right there. That's what you want to boot from. But if it's not enabled, make sure to go to System Setup. Hit Enter. And then you will have to go to 
uh, boot sequence. Okay, go to that. Now, if it's different BIOS, then, then you know you just gotta search for it. But basically, you gotta go into boot sequence. And as you can see, uh, if that's not checked, then make sure that's checked. Okay, so just make sure that's checked. The USB device is checked and it's on there. Because if not, then you won't be able to boot from there. So now what we do is just go to exit and redo it again. And it's booting. And now we type in the password again. and password is correct and then we scroll down to USB device hit enter boom and now it's going to boot from the USB thumb device drive whatever that you have um, now all the stuff that's about to pop up on the screen don't worry about it it's just uh, you know starting up and reading the files and everything that's on there um, making sure everything's okay and correct so, okay yep everything's going good and Ubuntu is loading now check that out we are booting from a USB Oop. sorry about that and uh, I'm not sure if you can see it down there but that little red light is the USB thumb drive and it looks like it's going good so far sorry about that I knocked something down on the table and it's still going it may be faster on yours because if you have a USB 3.0 then it's a lot faster I believe that's 2.0 down there so and a uh, little flicker and here is Ubuntu there is Ubuntu let me wait for it to log in that way you guys can see that it's okay now it's gonna say try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu you definitely want to hit try Ubuntu make sure you hit try and not install because if you install it it's going to install onto your computer and that's definitely not what you you don't want that unless if you want that but if you want to just use the, the USB drive from now on, just hit try Ubuntu. And it will stay on the USB drive and it won't be on your computer. But um, just to let you know that uh, some of the stuff you won't be able to do um, just by using the USB. You have to, uh, you know, you'll be limited basically. You'll be limited on some of the stuff. And there's Ubuntu, guys. As you can see, here's the dock. You can go ahead and open up Firefox web browser. And there it is. Let me type in a website. www.feature.feature.com And I hope that's right. I'm not used to using one hand to type. And there it is, guys. That is booting from NC, where it says install missing plugin up there. The reason why it says that is because you have to install stuff. But in order to install stuff, you basically have to install it on your computer, not, you know, run the operating system off of a, a uh, flash drive. So, basically, you need to install Ubuntu in order to use all the features and whatnot, because you can't really install stuff without uh, having it on your operating or on your C drive and not on your, your uh, main drive there. And this is one awesome thing. Boom, boom, shaka laka laka. Boom. Hello guys, welcome back to another Feature Tech Ideas How To. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Ubuntu or a distribution of Linux onto a thumb drive or a flash drive or a USB drive, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically I'm going to just be installing that format cheap, probably around 10 bucks for a 4 gigabyte I believe, so go ahead and get that. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's, it's always good to have an operating system that's, you know, you can put on a thumb drive and and especially if you're a uh, computer technician or you build computers or, or repair computers, 
it's good to be able to have a operating system on a thumb drive like that um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and what you need to do once you get your USB drive right um, go ahead and put it into the USB port on your dating it um, so if you do not have a flash drive go out and get one um, you could probably get one at a pharmacy like uh, CVS or Walgreens um, Big Lots Walmart they're like five to you know some go up to like thirty dollars um, you don't really need a expensive one just get a four gigabyte one I that's a minimum amount I recommend um, some people recommend a two gigabyte but I recommend a four gigabyte so you know like I said they're pretty but anyways that's another story so what you need to do is just go to that uh, thumb drive wherever that is it's, it's definitely not in here it's got to be in the devices and removable storage and maybe E or maybe D and maybe a, B, C, D, F, G, W, Y, Z, I don't know. Maybe some type of number. Just look for that and right click on it or uh, yeah, do something like that. And then click format. Now you have to format it no matter what in order to get an operating system and be able to boot from it. So click format, desktop, then go to your start menu or whatever you have. I have Windows XP, so I need to go to my computer. Now it's going to be totally different, I bet. And there it says install Ubuntu. The reason why it says that, I don't know why it says that, but. I uh, need to format it. There's no files on here. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. There's nothing on this this drive. See, there's the E drive. Um, I believe it's because I had I had Ubuntu on here before, but I uninstalled it and took it off there.